Okay, so you can see that we have two doors actually attached together. So we have one continuous hinge mounted there, but it's a butt style hinge. And unfortunately, it's not holding the door up all the way. We've got probably three quarters of an inch, maybe more of play up in the top. But you'll also see that it's two doors put together. So they've actually sandwiched two doors and made them into one. Why they wanted to do that, I don't know. I guess it's cheaper than having one large door so they can drive the vehicles in here. But we're gonna have to remove this, put a surface mount on it, and hopefully that will take care of the problem at hand here. So then again, it's gonna lock, comes in, comes shut, and then locks into place. It has locking pins here, and then that locks into this piece here. This was definitely going to be a more complicated project simply because of the length of the doors and the weight and the heaviness of the doors. Now, this is also a great opportunity to sell continuous hinges to car dealerships. Okay, so you can see where we have the frame tied up all the way tight along the top edge now, and we have our proper reveal in between the two doors, and you'll notice the giant gap over here. So the butt hinge that came off this style here would not allow, there is no adjustment for that. The SL57 is the only hinge that's gonna allow us to have a tapered reveal on that side and actually compensate for the frame being out of square. That is the problem here. This door is so heavy that it began to pull this frame out of square because we're hanging two doors on one. So now that we're gonna get this adjusted properly, we'll be able to fix it. Here we can see Chris has the door. We didn't have to drop it fully, but we just kind of leaned it on its edge like so. Started to get our airbags underneath and then was able to remove the existing butt hinge. Now the butt hinge that is a continuous hinge and in theory would work on this door, it doesn't work when you can't account for the sloppiness and the out of squareness of the frame because that style hinge is only going to follow the frame. If the frame is bent down, that's going to carry out that angle all the way across the horizon of the frame and the door. SL57 allows us to taper that gap and have a larger gap at the bottom, smaller gap at the top, and solve the actual problem. Okay, so that worked out absolutely perfect. We pushed this side all the way up, and then it actually dropped to be perfectly flush and even. Now it locks here, here, and no matter what, let's have that key real quick. Okay, we'll undo our key. That's gonna come out, and it does not hang up, it does not drag, it does not touch at all. Everything opens up flawlessly, just like so. And then we've got our three bolts and everything through here. And then one finger, one finger, comes right back into place. Okay, everything goes right where it should be. Locks back into place exactly the way that it should. And this door locks directly into there, exactly as it should. Now everything's all locked up and set and ready to go. Mission accomplished. So again, car dealerships are a great way to advertise that you can solve some of their really big problems. These oversized doors are extremely common because they need to have the oversized doors to drive a car into the showroom floor. We've got a door picture coming up here that shows a solid glass door. The one on the right is also a door. So that took a select hinge SL57 heavy duty continuous hinge. And now all of these doors are working flawlessly. We did all continuous hinges across every door, external door in this location and this dealership. And they are now extremely happy and we have solved all of their hinge issues for a lifetime. They come with a lifetime warranty. For more information, scan the QR code, check out wayneslockshop.com, and check out the Locksmith Ledger International Magazine. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.